Welcome to my session. My name is Miguel Fernandez, and I will show you today how Siemens is helping chemical customers in their efforts for more sustainability. If we look at the most pressing challenges we have in this society, then of course we need to mention COVID-19 first. But today I will not talk about this. What we want to talk about is how can we reduce jointly with the chemical industry, how can we reduce pollution, how can we reuse waste, how can we uh, improve the CO2 uh, footprint of many companies, so to reduce the climate impact and the env environmental impact. Now, what can the chemical industry do per se? Here we have listed some of the processes that are addressed by the chemical industry, and many of our customers already are starting processes in this direction to improve the envir environmental impact. Among them, you find um, a lot of recycling activities for plastics, for waste, but also for batteries. This is an important uh, element as the uh, battery recycling gets more and more importance as we have more electrical vehicles on the, car on the streets. But today we want to focus more on the plastic recycling uh, segment. And we have written down on the right side of this slide the reasons why we're looking into this segment. It goes without saying that we have way too much plastic in the environment, way too, way too much plastic ends up in landfills or in incinerations. Only 16% of the plastic for packaging is reused, for example, in recycling processes. So what can the chemical industry do about it? Well, what we need are processes, that adequate processes that leverage this waste and produce chemicals out of this waste again. So these adequate processes need to be developed and they are in development right now in order to benefit from the waste to, uh, as I said, reproduce plastics or other um, important elements of our daily use so that we can avoid the use, the, the, the amount of waste or the plastics in the incinerations and landfills. So this brings us to the questions, what can Siemens contribute to these recycling plants? First of all, I want to mention our comprehensive automation portfolio based on PLCs with Sematic, based on DCS with PCS7, and its innovation, PCS Neo. These systems are scalable and offer the possibility to standardize the programming and standardize the automation approach. Why is this important? In such a growing segment like recycling, you want to finish your pilot plant, you want to create a large scale plant, and then maybe to roll out this plant all over the world. And this calls for more scalability and for standardization um, in the programming. We can offer this and help these customers in this case. Next to this, we can offer gas uh, analytics, gas chromatography, for example, and other uh, analytics, uh, gas devices to assure the quality management, which is very important also to control and to reduce the CO2 footprint. We offer a comprehensive portfolio of field instruments. And in addition, we also have a multi-sensor that offers the possibility to measure additional data like vibrations and feed them th through the second data channel for further analytical uh, purposes, uh, either on site or in a, in a cloud. And I will talk about this in, in a few seconds. Like any other plant, um, the recycling plant is a chemical plant and also needs to fulfill all safety and security standards. And I'm happy that Siemens supports these, um, the creation of these standards with the portfolio, but also with services and consulting to achieve the functional safety of these plants. And also these plants will run for the next 20 years. This means we need to offer services and service contracts to support our customers to maintain the availability high of the plants and to keep them at any time up and running so that they achieve the, cost, the necessary cost position uh, in the market. But on top of the automation portfolio and everything we can do there, we also need a large portion of digitalization. Nearly all the products at Siemens bring a certain plug and produce characteristics with them so that they announce themselves in the network or they parameterize themselves. But we're also supporting the MTP approach as designed by the German standardization committee called Namur, which helps to onboard OEM packages into a DCS system and also to orchestrate them. 
I'm happy to tell you that we have one of the most comprehensive um, approaches towards the digital twin based on the engineering data that offer the engineering data per se, uh, the, uh, the logistics data, the um, uh, automation data, and so on. We offer simulation packages to simulate the fluid dynamics, to simulate the pipe dynamics, but also to simulate the entire process kinetics. And with this, the customers are in the position to uh, evaluate the impact of modifications before they touch the plant physically. This helps to speed up and to understand these modifications better. Now, I talked a few minutes ago about the second data channel. This data can be analyzed with artificial intelligence or by analytical software. We have launched an asset performance suite where we group these softwares so that you can have a better understanding of your assets and uh, later on a better control of, of the plant overall and with the uh, anomaly detection also to avoid malfunctions in your plant. All this helps to optimize the plant overall. With a digital worker, we enable the maintenance technician with a tablet, for example, to with a full digitized support to, to work safer and faster as he has access to all the data in the plant and can be supported by central intelligence through redlining or um, through artificial auto augmented reality or virtual reality. Last but not least, I want to mention that the convergence of OT and IT in this case can also be leveraged by the customers. He can have an efficient data management by analyzing data on site with adequate edge technology that we provide, but also web platforms like Mindsphere if this he is interested in maintaining and analyzing his, this data on, in the web, maybe, for example, for more global purposes. And this brings us automatically to the question, what can Siemens do for itself when dealing with plastic? Well, first of all, in this sustainability aspect, we want to play our role by helping our customers. But we not only want to pay, play a role in this transition, we want to be a leader in this transition. And therefore, we have set very challenging targets. As you can read, we want to be carbon neutral with all our sites by 2030. And that we take it serious is also manifested in the fact that we joined important initiatives and committees like the Amazon's Climate Pledge and the EU Commission Circular Plastics Alliance in 2020. Now, how do we want uh, to deal with plastic uh, it's in Siemens itself. We have defined a rethink plastic strategy that contains four key elements. The first and most important, increase the amount of recycling material. Second, improve recyclability overall. Increase the resource efficiency and participate actively in the social discussion. All this shows that we take this matter very serious and that we want to play a leading role in, on the way towards more sustainability. With this statement from our CEO, Roland Bush, I want to release you from my session today. It clearly shows how we think about our technology and the purpose it should fulfill. It should provide value, value to implement more recycling processes. It should help to achieve a circular economy. And at the end, it should contribute to build a more sustainable future for all of us. Thank you.